A 2.7 kilogram block of wood sits on a frictionless table. A 3 gram bullet fired horizontally at a speed of 500 meters per second goes completely through the block emerging at a speed of 220 meters per second. What is the speed of the block immediately after the bullet exits? All right, so let's draw a picture. So we have a different color block of wood right here sitting on a table and we say I'm going to have a big M for the mass of the block is equal to 2.7 kilograms then they say that a um, 3 gram bullet comes and hits the block of wood at 500 meters per second and exits the block at 220 meters per second. What is this, the speed of the block immediately after the bullet exits? Okay, so change back. I'll do right for the, the um, bullet. Okay, so we have a little m, little b for the bullet, and that is 3 grams in SI units at a 0 0.003 kilograms. Okay, so now the speed of the block initially is just sitting there, so it's 0 meters per second. And the final speed of the block is what we're looking for. Now the initial speed of the bullet, they tell us, is 500 meters per second. And the final speed of the bullet is 220 meters per second. All right, so now, of course, we're going to use conservation again. So uh, let me get a little more room. OK, so we're going to use M, and I'm going to say that's 1, and the bullet's 2. OK, so M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial equals M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. All right, and then we're looking for the final speed or the final velocity of number one. So we're looking for this guy right there. So let's subtract over m2v2 final. I know I've said it in other videos, but I like to um, I like to do everything algebraically first. It just saves mistakes from happening. It's a lot easier to catch them anyway. Okay, so, and we know that the initial speed of the block is zero, so this guy goes away. So now that leaves us with, here I'll do it over here to the side. So m to v2 initial minus m to v2 final equals m to v2 final. Whoops. And let me go back. M1 V1 final. There we go. Okay, so now let's divide over M1. Divide over M1. That's gone. So our final equation is V final. V2 final, I guess. Dang it, I keep doing that, huh? Okay, V1 final is equal to m2 v2 initial minus m2 v2 final all divided by the mass of the block m1 so now when you plug those guys in uh, for this one we have 0 0.003 kilograms times its initial velocity times 500 its initial velocity and then we're going to minus the mass of the bullet, 003, times its final velocity, so 220 meters per second. And that number all over 2.7. So it's basically the change in the momentum for the bullet divided by the mass of the block. So another way we could have done this since the mass of the bullet isn't changing at all, we could have taken the difference from these two velocities, uh, whatever that is, 280 meters per second, 
times that by the mass and divide it by the mass of the block and that would give us the same answer. But since we did it this way, let's go ahead and finish it out. So the top number gives us a 0 0.84 kilograms times meters per second all over 2.7 and slide up and that gives us our final answer which is the V1 final or the velocity of the block is equal to 0 0.311 meters per second.